Hello, welcome to Messenger's Make It Personal version 2. As we covered in the fast track video, the purpose of the rewrite was to move away from Silverlight. Version 2 is still all web based. Everything is still stored on the cloud, not on your computer. There's nothing to download. You simply go to mipv2.messengerstationary.com. It's browser friendly. Use your favorite. If you have been a user of Make It Personal version 1, you will not be learning a new application. There have been some changes in rearranging and some definite upgrades. We have not altered the program completely. We've used some of your suggestions and implemented some great upgrades and updates of our own. In this video, the Advanced Designer video, I'm going to show you the Advanced Designer and explain why you would need to go there instead of working only in the fast track and where things are located and what they do. So when you log in and you begin in the fast track, as demonstrated in the previous video, the fast track video, and you get here. So you've already gone into the fast track, you've already selected your case, selected your product, and you're on the review your design. So you've already gotten this far. Our obituary is fitting really good. We don't need to worry about that. Scroll down a little bit, go to the next panel. Now on the inside, you can see that this is actually a complete folder. But let's say, for instance, and here's one of the reasons that you would want to move to the advanced designer, that um, we don't want all these pictures on the inside. Are your family ones a verse on the inside of this MIP folder? And the MIP folders usually come with a lot of photos on the inside. So this is one of the many reasons that you would want to go to the advanced designers because you want to change this format. Other reasons may include if your family desires a custom verse or quote that is not in our actual box and you have to put a text box on here or other reasons for dropping text boxes on here which are not accessible from the fast track. Um, if you wish to add additional images, um, instead of changing out one of these, you want additional images. Um, design elements that are not on here that you wish to add. Um, additional information such as an additional clergy if there's two. Or maybe instead of a funeral service, it's a memorial service and you need to make changes. Um, or if you want to customize this in any other way. Okay, so at this point we're going to click here on Advanced Designer. The Advanced Designer screen is going to look really familiar. Okay, so you'll see that it looks it looks very similar to the MIP version one. It does look a little different. We wanted to give you a different. Uh, I'm going to give you more more real estate, more space. So your panel numbers are no longer down here at the bottom. They're over here on the right-hand side. This is the outside. This is the inside. You do have an undo and a redo button. Um, add another panel. Take away a panel. Reorder the panels. Uh, change the backgrounds if you absolutely have to. Um, this adds and takes off the grid. Um, and this shows you what the fields are in case you need to see what's going on and how many fields you have on the page. Uh, there's room for two more pallbearers. Those don't show right now because there's no names to go in them. Okay, over here on the left-hand side, we have all of your case information. So if you've forgotten something or decide you need those additional pallbearers, you can uh, go to your advanced and uh, go to your um, service information and scroll down and just start typing those names in. Or if you've misspelled something and you need to, um, you know, correct something, here we've got missing last names, um, so we can, um, you know, just drop those names in. There you go. And they just fill right in. Okay, case images are here. So if we'd wanted to add another image, we could just click on it. It would drop right on. We could grab a corner and size it. And it's going to readjust the picture. We can put it in position wherever we want it. We can rearrange these. But let's say 
that we decided we wanted a verse. So we're going to take off a few images. We're going to get rid of a few. We're going to slip one of these out and put something different on there, more appropriate. Um, here, this one will work. There we go, past and present. Now these two are a little bit different size, so I'm going to show you some of our alignment tools. I'm going to click uh, right here on this. I'm going to hold down Control, and I'm going to click on this picture too, so you can see they're both this, this selected. I'm going to click on our arrow here for alignment tools. I'm going to say, um, sorry, this one, uh, same height, same width. And then this one, and say, align to the left. And I can even grab them and move them myself with my uh, mouse. Then I'm going to go to Add Item, Add Text, pick my category, Prayer maybe, uh, maybe the English Prayer, since this has got a boat. I'm going to shrink it up this way and put it in place here. Grab this corner and drag it down. I'm going to close this and go to my T for text formatting. I'm going to bring it to the top. I'm going to add some size. Now, disregard these lines here. This red line means it's the center of this panel. The gray line is the fold line. And that will be the same on all service folders. So that's very important. Most register book panels are going to have a single red line down the middle that shows the center of the panel. The only time that would be different is if everything is offset on a panel and then there might be a gray line that tells you where the um, text would start from. And then the red line would be offset as well, so it will match up. All right, so let's say, for instance, over here on this side, we decided we needed to add some information right in here somewhere. So maybe we will um, we'll add a name. So we're going to go back to Add Case Information, go to Advanced, uh, Service Information. We need to add another clergy. There he is. So we're going to click on Clergy. We're going to stick our clergy in here. We're just going to poke him in there. OK, then we're going to select all of these. And we're going to close this, and we're going to go here to our tool right there and say auto distribution. Um, we're going to say remove empty fields and then we're going to say auto distribute um, to and auto distribute. And then we can always grab this bottom one and stretch this down a little bit. We could even grab the top one and stretch it up a little bit if we wanted more room. And don't be limited by what you see there. Like if we decided that we wanted bears closer together, we can choose just bears and use the auto distribute tool and say, no, I want them closer together, so let's auto distribute them at one and a half. And then we can grab them and scoot them closer together and move them as one whole unit if we choose. Uh, and then you can still also scoot your individual. You can also use your um, tools to um, do same width and align to the left. Um, there is just no limit to what can be done here. But very quickly, we can put things in perspective. So the advanced designer is made for completing those things that we cannot complete in the fast track. That is the purpose. Um, if you needed to add a text box down here, you could go to um, Add item, add text box. This might be for something as simple as um, uh, the family wants to thank you. Double click, start typing. The family wants to extend its gratitude. And don't be afraid to look in our, for things like this, I know that a lot of times they have a special thank you that they want you to type. But under our text items, under sentiments, we have a great deal of things that can be chosen. So don't be afraid to look in there as well. And then, of course, you just continue on over to the uh, save. And then once it's done saving to the print, 
and uh, then of course the generate. So once again, the advanced designer was created for those things that cannot be completed in the fast track, and also for those who want to heavily personalize. All right, and here's your PDF, just like always. And it will pop right up, just like that. And remember that your backgrounds are on the pre-printed paper, and therefore only the white will come in with the pictures and the spellings and can be saved and emailed to your families for approval. Um, just file and save as. Okay. Um, keep in mind, too, that a lot of these um, things that can be done here, and I know I've showed these on the um, fast track, but you can go to an add item and use an element. Um, you can select something here and go down to like, um, well, flowers probably isn't the most appropriate, but it does look really nice. Um, we'll try to pick something that's a little more appropriate. Um, we'll pick this one. I know it's not super appropriate for this design, but, and then we go to um, our photo editing tools, and we go to opacity, and we reduce the opacity on this and we send it to the back, and it just lets the verse show over the top, and it just looks so nice. Now, even though it's not appropriate for this particular graphic, um, we do have others. I'm going to take this out, um, and you can go to um, Add Item, and we can go down to, um, I think this is Water's Edge. So under Water's Edge, there might be some designs that we could use. I think these are also under the Elements, so that might be a place to look. Uh, element series. Oh, there's some cool things in here. This one might be a cool one to use. And uh, we can use that with the opacity. And send that one to the back. And that's kind of cool too. So there's a lot of variations, a lot of things that you can use. But that concludes our um, video on the um, Advanced Designer, and if there's anything else that we can um, show you, please let us know. You will truly enjoy working with this new version of Make It Personal. It's even easier than before. There may be some things that we are still perfecting, so please have patience with us, and we hope you found the information helpful. For additional information about Make It Personal Version 2 and how it can best serve you, please feel free to browse our other training videos or sign up for one of the webinars that we offer for all of our customers freely right here under Menu and Help. Thank you.